it's dark outside. Is it stormy? Oh. Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm. I'm Christy. I'm Cookie Monster. Hello. <laughs> Don't put that in your mouth. Why not? Because you're doing the chapel, aren't you? Alright, so. What do we got from the chapel? Luke 12, 6, 7. Are not five sparrows sold for two pennies? Yet not one of them is forgotten by God. Indeed, the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Don't be afraid you are worth more than many sparrows. Right, so it's about self worth, right? Yep. We're all worthy. Right? Okay. So take it with a grain of salt. Everybody should be. Puffing up because we're all worthy of God's love and He knows every hair on our head is numbered. Correct? <laughs> yes, I know. That's what it said. He knows every hair on our head. So, we are worthy. Alright, in the barn stalls, what do we got going on? Mm. Come here, Carl. Long more at her gift. Yeah, and we had a hard time. Um, naming her, huh? We still have two sheep that we believe are exposed. One, we don't know. Um, she just doesn't act like she's exposed all the time. Um, so there's two sheep that are exposed that could have possible twins in them. And then Bidet and Miss Zebu both have calves to go. So we're looking at at least four, possibly six names still needed. Correct. So, so I, oh, are we gonna reveal what we're gonna do next year? Okay. Okay. Well, we'll move on to that. Come here, Carl. Come here. Slide under. <laughs> These guys are getting huge. Look at them. No, no, no. Okay. okay, so in the barn stalls, Carl is huge and he loved Dawn. Aww. And we've only had them a couple of weeks, correct? Once we got Good them dog. wormed, they started growing. They outweigh moose. They're taller than moose, right? So, cutie Carl. Cutie, look at that paw. Look at that paw. His paw is like, and he's the smaller of the two. Look at that paw. Look at that. But just, look at that. Just, just, look just look at that. Just look at that. I love these. Hey, Car Wilbur, grab Wilbur, son. They're too big to even pick up by their front legs anymore. I mean, we were, and now we're like, I, I got that's <laughs> turn him around, right? There they are. They are huge. And Wilbur's actually bigger than Carl. So Carl is going to be tall and slender. And Wilbur's going to be what? That's what look like. What's Wilbur going to be? Probably shorter and stockier, huh? Put him up. Put him up. <laughs> and they really are that big, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Most of the time we can't hold both of them at the in our laps. There's just not enough room. Carl is on the um, bench. Put them up, man. Put them up. They're sinking fast. They're sinking fast, uh, aren't you guys? Put them up. But get that one. All right. Good looking, Come on. Good put them down. Let's get back to what we're doing. I know I started this. I shouldn't have. All right. Okay. Come on, Carl. There you go. Good boys. All right. So Miss Longhorn had her calf. How's it doing? Good. It stayed up. We normally keep them up for 24 hours, but how long did Miss Longhorn's calf stay up? Well, a little while. It was raining. Why? It was raining and nasty. So we wanted them to have a good time to eat. Um, Sunday night and rain. There you go. Uh, and just yeah, man, time for mom's body own, to rain. Right. Yes. Time for them to have their own thing going on, correct? Get good food, get healthy, give her time, body time to recover, right? 
and she had it staying a little bit longer just because of the weather. I didn't want that baby calf out under, without a stall. And I was concerned because what was her, what was Mama's issue? What was I watching? She had a big bag. She did. And that baby, some of those teats were acting like she couldn't suck on it. How is she now? Good. Good. Are they down? Yeah. So, it might be that her baby is still out there from last time. And he might be sucking up, correct? No, he's not there anymore. He's not? Okay. Uh, oh, he's the one that left. Okay. So, is that all we have for in the barn stalls? Is puppies and a long horn kid. What do we name the long horn cat? Huzzy. Druzzy. 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 So, yeah. Um, it was suggested on Facebook. So. Alright. Anything else in the barn stalls? Goats are escaping. Yep. What does that mean for us? We need them in Fort Knox to stick them in. No, it means we got to work that north gate, that north gate. Correct. So we know we where didn't they're just getting out. That. No, you fix where you thought they were getting out. You didn't work the entire fence. No, we went down the whole thing the other day. Dad and I did. Mm -hmm. Sure. I don't believe them. Don't believe them. There's flies in here. All right. Shoot, fly, shoot. Mending fences. Okay, my farm manager's having issues. I kind of got on to him. We have hay feeders to fix. We have fence to fix. We have a barn to clean. And what have we gotten done? I spent all week on the couch. Oh, yeah. I forgot that. You spent all week on the couch. But you had had those things to get done before you spent all week on the couch, correct? Probably. Okay. So, um, nothing's gotten mended, but it's going to get done this week, right? Sure. Okay. Get on track. Because it only takes about an hour to take care of this farm, like to fix whatever, it's, unless it's a big major tear-up project. But the sheep, the man pen is not done right. The, they don't even have sides on it. It's just barely a roof. Um, because they got out there and got stuff started, and then, well, they had to leave the rodeo. And then they never go back to it. So, it's. No, they fixed it. It was right. And the sides are staying on. No. Um, no. I need to get some big washers and some big screws and screw on the siding. Um, then, let's see here. What's in the yarn farm? Oh, Omega. We are headed back. January 5th to Omega, and we're going to start preparing now, aren't we? Get the fleeces tumbled, get them done. Uh, we just sell raw a lot of times up there, but I'm going to, we still take stuff, don't we? So, all right. Um, I'm going to start working on stuff now. Put it. I'm going to download some information. So, get that done. All right. What else have we got? In the fields, the garden is overgrown again this year. We've lost control because somebody hasn't even been mowing once a week. Well, it's been raining and it's so thick you can't hardly get in there. But if you kept it mowed, it wouldn't get thick and you could get in there. Because you haven't just let it go for one week. How many weeks have you not mowed that garden? Two. Three. Mm-hmm. I was the one that last mowed that garden. I had it looking really good, too. No, I mowed it last. I mowed it right in that one more. Right oh, that's more. right. You did. Only because I said I was going to come home and do it, and then I came home and he had done it for me. So, you're right. All right. We have one more section to bring in for hay, correct? So, all this rain that we're getting is making it grow, correct? Mm -hmm. Which is good. Good, good, good. We like to have the rain on it right after we cut it. So what we have cut should be coming in real well. And uh, it'll give us more on that last little pasture section that we have the back part to do. So, all right. Anything else in, in the fields? Well, what? Oh, the kind of gazing bottle. I was gifted a solar gazing bottle. Oh, you big weenie. 
it works, but it needs a new rechargeable battery, which is just a double A. So I know Walmart sells like rechargeable batteries. I'm going to see if I can get it. Stick this. Well, when you put that one in it, it does, but it's not rechargeable, so the solar stuff won't, it'll mess it up when it goes to recharge. It'll actually zap it, so. <laughs> I know. With those, current only flows out. So even if it's trying to put it in, it flows out. Rechargeables take it back in. So, alright. Anything else in the field? RJ wants to go to sleep. Let's move on to in the farmhouse because that's where the most activity has been going on. What happened this week? I had a horse. You, he horse. had a wreck. Yeah. All right. So, tell the story. Um, I went to a doctor at Cal. A bull. Yeah, yeah a bull. Story. Started out with a bull with his yeah. uncle. and Got that done. It went fine. Yep, went fine. And since we was out there, we can go talk to this cow. And I got her roped, and the horse I was riding took and decided it was Well, there. your uncle had his rope laid to heal her, to heal yeah. the cow. And it need, the cow needed to take just one step forward, and they could have had it, laid it down, everything would have been cool, right? Yep. Okay, the cow wouldn't step forward. No, she had sold up real bad. Okay, so the horse, now what happened? Well, the horse I drive is kind of green, and I thought maybe he just. What does that mean, green? Um, hadn't been done. He's young. Yeah. He hasn't been exposed to everything. He hasn't um, done that right That's much. why he's here, is just to kind of get him over a lot of things. Our farm offers a lot of. You were shaking the camera down there. Um, our farm offers a lot of things for them to get used to. There's a fly on the camera, I see it. Um, so we ride him through the sheep, the goats, big cows, little cows. You've been out in the pasture healing on him, right? Yep. And taking him right up to the day. He shouldn't have been spooky of big cows. Nothing. But sometimes if they aren't used to it, used to it, um, while they're getting used to it, they have issues. So a horse that hasn't been exposed to all these things is called a green horse. I just think green's a pretty color, so that's what we call them. No, I'm teasing. <laughs> okay, finish your story. So the horse you were riding is green. So I was trying to get him to step back and jump and step into the cow and just kind of hit her and jerk her forward. And uh, when he says jerk, it's not really a little. It's just a little tug, isn't it? Yeah, it's just a. Um, a horse will headbutt kind of the shoulder of the cow, not headbutt, but chest to chest. No, and it's not much. Kind of push him. I was on the end of the rope. I was trying to get him to step into it because the ropes will stretch a little and you can kind of get a momentum. And okay, get step into the cow or step into the rope? Step into the end of the rope. That's not what you said a minute ago. That's trying, what I was trying to say. You said into the cow. And we have precious will push those cows around like nothing. Correct? Right. When you get her to step into a cow, she does it, doesn't she? Okay. Okay, so apparently step into the rope. I was trying to get him to pull. Okay, oh, so what happened? Whatever he, you're trying to do, what? He reared up, <laughs> flipped over backwards on me. He reared up twice. He yep. reared up the first, first time. First time, and he got his feeding back. And then he reared up the second time, and the cow took off and jerked us over. Yep. So. So RJ knows what a yo-yo is like. Yep. When you drop it, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. So. How many days you lay on the couch? That uh, was Monday night. One full day, and then I had to go to the dentist on Wednesday. Got his teeth cleaned. Let's see those pearly whites. <laughs> um, got a plan of action to try and save some of your other teeth too. Correct. Yep. For those that haven't followed us all along, um, when RJ was little. He had to have reconstructive surgery on his mouth. He jumped off the step and pushed everything up in there. And then um, because of all the sugar and medicines they had him on when he was little, he's got um, teeth that actually had cavities before they even dropped down in. So um, you've got kind of a history of dental issues, correct? Yep. We had one dentist tell us that he'd be indentures 
or implants by the time he was 20. Well, he's 20 and he still has teeth, don't you? Let's see. Let's see. Not much. They're not the greatest, but we're working on them and we're working with a new dentist. He knows he can save all the ones on the bottom, correct? Or he thinks he can. So we're going to get that section done first. He's got like four cavities down there. That, um, and the problem is, is that all the other cavities he's had filled, what's happening to them? They're starting to get... They're decaying again. Underneath the... Yeah. Underneath the cavities. So, or underneath, underneath the, the fillings. fillings. So, yeah, it's not a good thing. But anyway, so what else has been going on in the farmhouse? Yeah, that's it. I've been working. I joined the league. Yep, mom's here. I'm leaving now. I'm only now. No, it's a bowling alley. Correct. Matter of fact, we bowl tonight on Sundays. So, there you go. It's getting dark. You're late. Eh. It is just 8.30 in the morning, and it is nap time. black and rainy. But we got chores done before we got soaking wet, right? It's nap time. Well, Lundy, did I clean the whole house last night? Well, they were gone. Cleaned out the gold truck. I didn't get the dishes or the bar done. And that's that the gold for the today. Dishes Tuesday, wasn't that? Mm -hmm. That's a feat for us, okay? Mm-hmm. So, anyway, all right. Anything else going on? Uh, just going to get ready for Romeo Correct. I am going to finish spinning some camel, and I've got two other, um, I've got some yak I need to spin, and then I've got some other stuff. My spinning is piling up, isn't it? But I've been working on my hook, my latch hook, hook latch, whatever, my rug. Dealy Walker. Yep. And the first part of the week, I'm sorry, my contact is bothering me. First part of the week, where was I at? Oh, uh, house friend? No, I was house sitting four dogs. And as much as I love our dogs, I will say this. I am glad they're all kennel trained and are not in my bed every night. Correct? Yeah. Oh, sorry, guys. I is just what the deal is. I don't know if it's dry or not. I'm just sitting here on the contact stuff, so um how do our dogs spend the night? In the kennel. They're outside. Yeah. Jethro is outside. The big the puppies they're getting bigger and they're going out more during the day. Um, we've gotta get them they still like to take off after the ducks and the chickens, don't they? Uh -huh. So we've got to get the door on the coop fixed so that we can put them all in there and keep them safe from the puppies um, at night. And then we get on to them at, during the day, correct, so they'll learn. Uh, but where was I going? Oh, the, my friend that I was house sitting for, I wasn't really house sitting, it was dog sitting. They have four dogs. One does not sleep in the bed at night. The other three? Yep, one is a big bird dog. It's a, a setter, pointer setter or something. I don't know. He's big. Then there's um, the one I call Rosie Red, which is Penny. But it, I call her Rosie Red because she's so spoiled. Um, she's a little uh, terrier, uh, like a Jack Russell type terrier. And then there's Turd. His real name is Purd, but I call him Purd the Turd. Um, and he's probably shin high. He's just a medium sized dog. He's just black dog. But anyway, at one point I woke up with rosy red on my chest and her face right here. Another time, I had heard, like, my arm was out like this, and he had his head here, and he was sleeping like a baby down like this. Then, Smoke, the bird dog, was between my legs with his legs straight up in the air, and he's huge. I was pinned down for nights. I'm glad I kill my dogs at night. That's all I'm going to say. Her dogs are great. I mean, they kind of run a lot. Not 
they like to run a lot. Um, that's why we don't have bird dogs here on the farm, huh? But, um, I feel like they're just funny. They, they just keep are, going. They, they keep going. Her dogs are super hyper compared to ours, even the big, the puppies. So, anyway. The little dog's not all that hyper. Penny? She goes doesn't outside, like goes to the bathroom, you. and then goes back in. Yeah, nice she doesn't dog. like you, but me, she is like all over me. But anyway, so that happened. Um, glad we kennel our dogs or have them outside. Oh boy, it's really coming Anything down. Anything else? I know it's pouring down. We need the rain, so I'm not complaining. But I only got half the yard. Here I am griping about his mowing. I didn't get all of that mowed. I only got part of it mowed. So here my lawnmower's getting wet. It's getting cleaned off. Put on the red side. Yeah. All right. We're supposed to go brand some horses today. Oh, so yeah, we are supposed to go brand some horses today, right? No, it's not. We don't do it that way. How do we do it? Oh, it's a freeze brand. We freeze brand. It is a lot less um, invasive. Invasive. It doesn't hurt them. No, it just uh, turns their hair white. Yeah. So anyway, we have that to do. And then, are we going to tell them, I promised them I'd tell them our plan for next year, um, how we're going to do the naming convention. Sure, put me in on this one, because I don't remember it if I was told. Yeah, you do. Do you know we name them movies? No. That's awesome. We no. name them all movies and TV characters. No. We'll never run out. Yeah, 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 that's what they said about gemstones. I didn't like gemstones. Do you know how many three dollar movies I got up here, Mom? Okay. We could have almost stuff. a million babies and name them stuff. Bye. Okay, but I thought we were gonna do the heroes, the everyday uh, heroes. Oh uh, yeah, that worked. Okay, so next year there's no voting on what we're gonna name the babies, but every name is fair game, um, including there can be more than one Johnny. Because it can be Johnny G, Johnny C, Johnny A, Johnny whatever. So there's 26 versions of Johnny if we want to name them all Johnny, right? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Name but all the boys Johnny and name all the girls. How do we girls. name them? You have to tell on um, Facebook or we've got to find another, or probably the blog. We probably will have to stick to using the blog so that everyone can post. Um, but you have to tell us why that person is your everyday hero. So if RJ wanted to nominate me, he'd say, um, I want one named Christy because Christy's my mom and she does, she makes excellent spaghetti. I don't okay. like spaghetti folks, just an FYI here. Okay, she makes excellent chicken fried steak. Everything I make is excellent. But anyway, <laughs> hey, 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 guys, hey, guys, give it up. You want to tussle? I'll take your one oh. paw tied by my back and my eyes closed. Oh. Okay, so I have three shoes over there, and apparently they have a favorite one, and they argue over it all the time, and Moose has it right now. So, I don't know. I'll take your one paw tied by my back. Okay, stop that. I said. Okay, so if I wanted to name, I'm, come on, get back to this name. I was doing my simple Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why nobody's going to nominate you. Um, If... RJ wanted to nominate me, he'd say why, okay? So, it can be serious, it can be um, not so serious. Like, okay, so here's the thing, even little kids can get on it, because I have, and I was cleaning out my wallet yesterday, which is funny, because I have a story. We go get me my wallet real quick? It's really important. All right. Cool. So, I was cleaning out my wallet, okay, and back when RJ was little, um, from pre-K to fifth grade, he was in public school, okay? So, um, he brought home papers and all that kind of stuff. But, one Father's Day, he, they had made, um, ties. And it was so funny because... And I have no idea. I, I know why I kept this, but I don't know how it ended up in my wallet. 
But so they made for Father's Day, they made these ties and they were supposed to write what they were thankful for on the ties and give them to their dad. This is RJ's, okay? And he's made his stripy tie. And on it, it says, I'm thankful for my mom. <laughs> so on Father's Day, he's thankful for my mom. I don't know why I've kept this. Do you remember doing this? No. And it's signed RJ Straw right down here. And then he cut it out. And he gave it to his dad for Father's Day. <laughs> so, this is why, and one of the reasons why, we're going to do an everyday hero's theme. So, um, be thinking about who's your everyday hero. Um, it can be Fireman Fred. It can be Military Bob. Bob. It can be Soldier Sam. It can be anything. There is no wrong right answer. And um, it could be we, Wilbur and Carl. They're standing well, up for wanting their shoes. It it's the favorite. There's three of them. Okay, and they're my old shoes. And Moose has one that's a favorite. And they're literally sitting there watching him chew on the shoe because he's got the favorite. See, there's another one upside down right there, and they're not. They just want that one that Moose has. So, oops, sorry. Probably made you dizzy. Um, I'm so dizzy. But I anyway. So, be thinking dizzy. about who your everyday hero is because next year in 2019, starting in normally the end of February, beginning of March, we start birthing. So, every everyday hero can be it and like i said you can have the name christy and you can use it 26 times um it is what it is and you can i don't know if i'm gonna try Fred. 26 times 52. why you can spell it backwards oh dirt. we have dirt and fred yeah anyway so be thinking on who's going to be your everyday hero um kids can get in on it it doesn't have to be a long, elaborate explanation, but you can't just say Fred C um, or Sam S. You have to tell us why and why they're your everyday hero. Um, it can be your mom. It can be the postman. It can be, um, it can be RJ. He's trying to blow a battery up there. He's got his battery sitting on his Gatorade. He's trying to blow it up there. And apparently he can do it. On that note, we are done. I'm going to go back to my spinning. Can I have my league this evening? What are you doing? Uh, Waiting to hear about Brandon from horses. And uh, maybe, he'll get the, maybe he'll get the barn cleaned out and set up like it's supposed to. Yeah, in my dreams. Bye, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.